match which features Massimo Chino up against a certain Philip Taylor. In the events itself, I've been playing really well. I've just missed a few doubles, that's all really, you know. Uh, didn't qualify for the Premier League. But it's not the end of the world. You haven't got time to worry about things anymore. you just got to get ready for the next one. Did well this year. We got to the final. I had a chance of, of, of nipping the final, to be honest with you. Missed a couple of doubles. Always, always can do better. I think that's, that's again, that's the nature of dark players or any sports person, really. That you think you can always do better. But it's coming now. The game's coming together. So I'm quite pleased about that. To win in Tokyo, it would be a dream come true, it would, it really would, you know, because it's, again, it's a, it's a new country for us and uh, everybody always wants to win that first one. The Japanese players are getting better now, um, I mean, I've been in Japan for m many years now, probably 10 or 15 years, and, and at the beginning they, they, they were just learning, and then I went there last year and the standards improved tremendously. They are, how can I say, perfectionists, and it's great to see, you know, the, 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 the Japanese players have, have opened the standard of ours. Yes, indeed, and if Masumi Chino can pull off a surprise in front of this crowd in this match that is coming up, I suspect some of those you see now might literally explode with excitement. There's no bigger name in the history of darts, and he's right here on stage in Yokohama. It's Masumi Chino against Phil Taylor. series thank you viewers i hope you're enjoying yourselves the millions that are joining us around the world the action has been amazing so here he is then ladies and gentlemen please welcome from tokyo japan a runner-up in the pdj world championship qualifier time to meet massimo chino Taylor getting an almost messianic reception here in the hall. I wonder what is going through the mind of Masumi Chino, who's walked onto the stage bizarrely in what appear to be arm warmers. Wholly unnecessary that, I'd have thought. What is going to happen in this match? It's Phil Taylor against Masumi Chino, and here are Stuart and Rod to talk you through it. Yeah, three terrific games already to kick off the first ever uh, Japan Darts Masters, but yeah, each to their own. He's got uh, a running top, a tight running top underneath his, his dart shirt there, Asumi Chino. And I can assure you, it is very, very hot 
up on the stage. I think they'd have suited you back in the day, Rod. Well, I think they're just sleeves, Stuart. I think they only come up to the um, bicep. I don't think they go up to the shoulder. I don't know whether they're... Well, I thought at first when I see them in the practice room with them on, I thought they may just be to keep the muscles nice and tight, but obviously he's got them on his left arm as well, so perhaps they are for muscle tightening and also balance. Yep, Taylor, who is looking to win a fourth World Series event. Seven events we've had in the World Series since it all got underway in Dubai in 2013. Four of them have been won by Michael Van Gerwen. Three of them have been won by Philip Taylor. Sydney twice and Perth. Taylor's World Series titles and, of Thank course, the, gentlemen. First leg the first of the, throw first. the year in Dubai at the end of May. He lost to Van Gerwen in a cracking final. Darts in the desert. Followed by darts in the land of the rising sun. And then we head down under in August in Perth, Sydney. Wow. And Auckland. For the next stage of the World Series. Well, certainly Taylor, the most recognisable face <coughs> in the world of darts. Wow. It's a great reception. Even a German in Germany and they were shouting for Phil Taylor. So it just shows you yeah, how respected against the Germans. he is. Yes. It how respected he is throughout the world as he is here. But just have a look at this Chino's throw when he comes back. How neat and tidy is this throw? Phil Taylor's? Oh no, that's very... 99. Only to Phil Taylor, no one asked to throw a dart like that. But this, well, just have a look at this throw. It's pretty tidy. The yeah, action. There's, there's, a, there's a touch of the Peter Wright about it as well. The way the way that the darts come round, not dissimilar to the darts that we will see a little later on from Peter Wright when he takes on the Japanese number one, Haruki Muramatsu. Taylor looking for the first maximum. Well, Kenchino following him up. <coughs> This would set the crowd alight. Yeah, so lucky. Oh. He's just tapped Phil on the shoulder, so I'm still around. But this is where he's been so good over the last 20, 25 years. Although, <laughs> yes, Phil, we thought that was a long way off as well. Now, this would be a checkout, the long checkout. Will he go 15s or will he go 25? Soft tip players always go the 25. And when he's missed it. Well, the little ruthless sh shake of the head from Phil Taylor stood behind uh, Masumi Chino after those two missed darts at double, but he'll come back here for eight. double four to win the opening leg against the throw as well. No mistake Eight's this time. Phil Taylor. Phil Taylor. Second leg is Phil to Chino, first. 55 Game on. in August. Phil Taylor just before we head to Perth for the next leg of the World Series but talking to him still as hungry and as determined as ever I had a sit down a little 10 15 minute chat with him in Germany at the Whoa. World Cup of Darts and the motivation is to prove to himself that he can still win the big titles but also he still even now likes proving the doubters wrong those who say well you passed your Seven. best but you won't win many more Taylor will head to Blackpool for the world match play in July, huge tournaments on the PDC circuit. One is won 15 times. 59. A big favourite in many people's minds to win it for an eighth consecutive year. He's hungry, all right. He wants more titles. I totally agree with you. If you look at his stats, <coughs> his averages over this year, there isn't many games <laughs> that he's been under the 100. And it's taken exceptional performances to beat him. So. Um, I think they heard him not making the semi-finals of the Premier League, but certainly one of the favourites for this. And as you said, Stuart, <coughs> the, the match play. 96. He loves that stage up in Blackpool. Well, so his last, his last major individual TV title was the match play in 2014, when he 
99. Wallop Michael Van Gerwen in the final. Of course, Taylor and Adrian Lewis teamed up to win the World Cup of Darts for England earlier this month in Frankfurt. Ninety-seven. Yeah, the last ranking event he won. If we remember the Grand Slam he won in Wolverhampton, but the last big one, ranking event, 100. was a year ago. And he'll be aware of that, won't he? Heading for Blackpool. I think the, the thing that sums up Taylor today, for me, is that he hates losing just as much as he ever has. The hunger and the enthusiasm is still there for him. Well, his mindset has actually got to be better now no, than it was years ago because he's losing more score. games now. Yeah. You know, and like a boxer, there's only so many times you can take losing, but um, he still keeps bouncing back. Of course, the standard is a lot better now, so he will lose a lot more games. No a good. chance here for Chino yeah, to break the throw. Well, the very very well. See, Taylor missed darts at a double like that, so 20 or the 12. Massami, they're shouting, double 16 for the 27-year-old to break the throw. Well, doing a quiet squad. Masumi from just half an hour away from Yokohama is Tokyo. That's where he lives, and he's had two darts to break Taylor. Taylor's had five darts at this target in this leg. Game on the second six leg. darts to get double six. Relief for Third. Taylor. To what a chance for Chino in that second leg. Yes, if you're going to beat the likes of Taylor, you've got to take everything that's given you and two darts at the double. You won't get many more chances. Good player. You know, he, he, he actually lost out in the 2015 World Championship qualifying final. Uh, did Masumi Chino heartbreaking fashion as well because he was he was in front most of the way and lost 6-5 to Haruki Muramatsu in a deciding leg to decide who would go and represent Japan at the Alexandra Palace. 81. Well, as I said, it, it's a very good action, lovely and smooth. It's just a little bit of consistency that it's missing. Take on someone like Tyler as he fills up. Number yeah. two. Yeah. Of the maximum for Phil Taylor. Yeah. The crowd have really embraced this opening night here in Yokohama. 45. Enjoying every minute of it. Darts breaking new ground in Japan. 96. I think it's fair to say, and the success of this opening night, that we'll be back here in 12 months' time. It really has been a big hit. Well, he may go 25 with his third dart. No, he stayed up there. He's the risk was worth. The trouble now. Well, I was going to say that this could be an unbelievable finish from Taylor. Oh. Exhibition stuff from the 16 time That's world champion. I thought I really expected that to go in. I think Taylor did as well. Triple 20 would leave double eight for Chino. Nope, so Taylor will return, just missing the ball for 59. What would have been a spectacular one, two, five, so 25 left. Double eight for Taylor. No problem this time. Taylor in control. 3 0. He leaves here in Yokohama. Game on. I have to say, Stu. That was very close to going in double 11, and the double six previous leg nearly went the double 13, so a little bit over pitching from Taylor, but nevertheless. Whoa. Both darts went in the double, and he leads, as you said, 3 0, and 
There's not many people that have come back from 3 0 down to Phil Taylor. One. Well, that's Chino, fourth 140 of the match to only one of Phil Taylor, although Taylor has had two maximums. And there we have it. 60. Good one, 40 count. Taylor, 3 0 up. And just over the 90 average, which. Oh, Phil Taylor, if you see that, he wouldn't be very happy. But he normally, when he starts off like this, he normally edges up leg on leg towards the 100 mark, doesn't he? What a moment here for Chino, though, to play Phil Taylor. And his chance, two missed darts at double 16 Ooh. in the second leg. seen a bit more of this young man over the next few years. Play well. Well I have to say that none of them have looked over overwrought or, or panicking, overheating. I know they're used to the heat a lot more than 95. Than we are. It's very humid 161. here in Yokohama. But um, you can see really focused. That's a great dart. 92. Well, unlucky. Oh, you won 146. We have two darts to break the Taylor throw in the second leg. He's going to get a chance here to do it again. 105. Massimo Iguain, 69. So should get at least one dart again to break the Taylor throw. Double 16, same target. Yeah. Great start to break his throw. The crowd on their feet. Chino gets a leg on the Big ball. Leg Taylor leads 3 1. Deserve that. Yes, he certainly did. And, uh, Phil Taylor, I thought he might have given him a bit of acknowledgement, but Phil Taylor totally focused. You'll never see uh, Phil Tyler take anything lightly. He just does not do that. If you played any of us down a friendly game down the pub, he'd beat us 10-0. It's as simple as that. 87. Now forget the persona. That there are no friendly games where Phil Taylor's concerned. But Chino. Breaking the Taylor throw, deserved to win the leg. Qualified through the Japanese order of merit, the ranking system. Run by the, the PDJ. 45. Professional darts here in Japan, affiliated to the PDC. Just needs to tighten up the loose darts, Chino. If he does that, a few more legs could come his way. As Taylor puts in his third maximum of the match. Do you know what, as well, Taylor's three 180s have all come in legs against the throw. What a response, though. Fantastic darts! Masumi Chino! What a moment for him on the big stage. 180 from Taylor. Take that, says Chino. Well, he should get at least one dart at double top, maybe two at double ten. I don't think he'll go the 16s route. That's not an option in this situation. So another 20 for double top. Oh, no. well, that should have been near double top. Just a little bit of an experience, busting your score after hitting a 180. So Taylor here, one dart at the ball. 68. So Chino will get a chance here, disappointing that to break 80. Can we make your bends? <laughs> well, he aimed very high that, double 10. Oh, that's unlucky. That really is unlucky. No, but to only get one dart at double, when you're on 80, prepare to be punished. Oh. 
Well, 17. Well, well. That's the evening of the sprint. Well, they missed the double eight in the first leg, and they only got it in leg three. It was nearly in the double 11. And he's going to miss that. You've seen him shaking his head. No shoulders, so a chance and a chance taken. Three legs to two. He's giving, giving it a real go. Taylor leads 3 2. Terrific game. And Taylor with it all to do. Well, certainly, this is where Phil Taylor's got to throw 12 data and just get that, that gap of two legs. We see Stephen Bunton do it in the first match. Don't forget as well, Chino could easily have been three to in front, but for missing darts in the second leg. But he's pushing Taylor. One hundred and twenty-five. The winner of this to play Raymond Van Barneveld in the quarterfinals on Sunday here in Yokohama. Yes, a 6 4 winner, and it took three ton plus checkouts from the big Dutchman. And he had one, a 1 4 6 to win the match. And he was up against the ropes, there's no question about that. 101. Yes. Phil Taylor could have easily been if uh, Chino had tidied up the doubles in the early legs. Two darts, as you said, Stuart. But that double. Oh, but another one might help out. So Phil Taylor's going to get six starts. He won't go the 25 route because he doesn't have to. Double 12. Oh. Game oh. Taylor. He may have missed a few doubles early, but it really mattered. Seven ladies in the season. A one three five, and it is a 12 darter. Taylor four two in front. As I said, that's what he needed to do. Just get that two legs in front. Put that extra little bit of pressure on Chino. And so many yeah. times from here, he's been full time relaxed and kick on. But Chino, you've, you've got to give it to all of them, Stu. I know this is only the fourth game. But every one of them has showed good composure. You know, professionalism in, in doing the right thing. I mean, it's just, you know, a real pleasing performance to see it you know for the first time out here and, and hopefully we'll be back for many years to come it's also about learning stagecraft isn't it under these conditions the bright lights the big crowd the tv cameras and the whole experience of playing exactly right. I mean, they do, yes they do play you know the soft tip finals on big stages but what they've not got is this intense bright lights which generates the heat they haven't got the TV and so yeah. they would not be used to this sort of heat on the stage and well, the four that's been up here have been adapting very well Ninety five. Taylor averaging 97 and a half he's been pushed here he really has Great adjustment. 62. Oh, you're at 141. Ninety-five. Let's see you require 154. So Taylor will be back. For a break of throw. 60. Despite the fact he struggled on double 46. 16 and double 8, he'll probably go the same way. Yep, double 16. Game no seven problem eight. this time. Eight. Emphatic from Taylor. He now has the darts. The throw Game for a place in the last day of the first ever Japan Darts Masters. A groundbreaking day for world darts and for certainly for darts in Asia here in Yokohama 118 talking to 
some of the people who've helped promote this what event. Man. A couple of darts magazines which are really popular here in Japan and you know, they were extolling the virtues and couldn't emphasise em enough how important this weekend is. And Phil Taylor now putting on a show. Well, he's up to just under the 100 average now, and we did say that he would ease up towards that. And now, prime position to finish this match off and get forward to the quarterfinals. In Dubai, he lost to Nine Michael Van Gerwen in the final. In fact, missed a couple of doubles and two legs on the run-in, as did... Lewis and Barnevald against Van Gerwen. Is this going to be another 180? Oh, That's unlucky. So now Phil Tyler, 110. And this would push him over the 100 average. Seventy. So Taylor will return. 43. He's been so given a real 40. go here. Brave performance from Masumi Chino. The Phil Taylor in the end powers his way into the quarterfinals. Yes, richly deserved applause for his opponent. Masumi played really, really well. The young man from Tokyo with Philip Taylor, a 6 2 winner who sets up prospects of a mouth-watering quarter-final on Sunday against Raymond Van Barneveld here in Yokohama. Well, a familiar sight. Phil Taylor checking out and winning again in the first round, but a brave showing from Masumi Chino, who asked a couple of questions of the great champion. I would suspect, didn't he, Phil? I mean, Did it he ever? Yeah, it wasn't was an easy shaking. ride, was it? I was shaking. Honest to God, I was shaking like a leaf. He put me... You just feel so much under pressure. I know how Barney felt, and I know how all the rest of them are going to feel. It's, it's very nerve-wracking, trust me. That fifth leg was critical and then in the sixth you decided to open up your two leg advantage again and that 12 data that was the difference wasn't yeah, it? yeah i felt that i felt it was again a little bit under pressure i could just see his darts just dropping a little bit but he, for credibility he's, he's a fantastic little player and i think he's going to get better and better and better he doesn't really play steel tip he plays soft tip which is a completely slack like playing golf and playing football it's a completely different game yeah we've been talking about the differences and we've been talking about how well darts is being received in japan we're blown away by the reception here we, you? We, the... we can't believe it i mean we all <laughs> thought every, all these people are going to sit there and be dead quiet but no they've come out here for enjoy themselves and God bless them, and that's what they've done, and I really appreciate what they're doing. You know, they're getting behind both players, which is brilliant, really, because you, you never yep. know what it's going to be like when you're in Japan. Well, quite. I mean, the local heroes are getting, quite rightly, their, their good dose of applause. But, but the way you walked on there, you were virtually mobbed, weren't but you? But let's be honest. I mean, you've got Tom sitting over there and Barry Ian, who's put this on in Japan. Yep. I mean, it, it can't get any bigger, can you now? We've been in Dubai, now we're in Japan. Next week, we're in Wigan. <laughs> but it's, it, it, this just shows you what darts is like now, you know? All these young are coming through you know coming through on the rankings and it's that they are gonna have a hell of a life trust me I mean my time's coming to an end but they are gonna have the time of their lives in the next few years they're gonna travel the world just like the golfers yeah your time is to like golfers not, as well <laughs> that's very true the money's mm. great but your time's not coming to an end what are you talking about I'm gonna do another five years I'm enjoying it too much now when Barry said we're gonna travel the world I thought well, yeah, okay I'll, I'll have a bit that. of that I'll do that <laughs> With me and my mate Ned. <laughs> well done, Phil. Congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow in Thanks, action. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.
Okay, let's have a look at what remains. We're at the halfway point. So these are the four results we've seen so far. Stephen Bunting getting the better of Shintaro Inui. Raymond Van Barnefeld pushed all the way by Katsuo Aiba. Adrian Lewis, the first whitewash of the day against Sho Katsumi. And then Phil Taylor, we just saw him beating Masumi Chino. Still to come, though, in the other half of the draw, James Wade against Hashimoto. Gary Anderson takes on Yamada.